Hey everyone, Allison here from Lodna Village Arts and Crafts. We are back for day two of the 12 days of Stitchmas. Uh, let's take a look at day one real quick. Let's get it out of my, my bag. That was our day one. We got the die that creates this layered Christmas tree. And um, yeah, so let's see what's on day two. Here is day two. I really wanted to um, peek ahead, but I didn't, just for you guys. Uh, so we do get a sneak peek when we open it up. So this one is uh, candles. You can see from the picture there. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Open up our little die packet here. And then we will make a quick card. So we've got the big outline of the two candles plus two individual candle dies and their flame. That's the stitch pattern for inside the candles. And then we've also got some holly leaves, some berries. Oh, a stitch for the flame. Can't forget that. All right, so that's going to be fun to work with. So I had a thought. I have lots of thoughts, but <laughs> I had a thought where it pertained to um, these 12 days of Stitchmas and the 12, specifically the 12 cards that I'm going to make first, because uh, I'm going to make a card in these videos, and then I'm going to play with the dies off camera, and um, I'll show you more things that I make with them at a later date. But for these cards, I thought I could use the same um, products, basically. So I've got my kit, my Stitchmas add-on kit, and I'll be using that. Um, plus, for the first one, I used this Honeybee 6x6 paper pad, which was one that we had in the store um, last year. Um, my reasoning for showing you something that you can no longer get, because I mean, that's frustrating when you can no longer get it, is to show you how you can use any six by six paper pad that you have and, um, find ways to use these dies and make everything coordinate. So you could have 12 coordinating cards, which is what I hope to have at the end of this. And then I also use this stamp set, um, and I may or may not add in different stamp sets depending on the the dies that are involved um, and sort of the feeling that I want to go for but I have this to hand and I also have the pearls that I used on this card because it goes really nicely with these papers so let's get started first of all we're gonna have to cut all of these things so let's bring in let's move these to the side first otherwise I will lose them so um, the holly leaves will definitely get cut with the green cardstock that I used for the tree, so I'll pull that out. And I've got some gold in here that I could use for the um, candle flame, but I've also got gold sparkly in the set. That might be kind of fun. Now, I also, oh, it's, it's got something attached to it. Well, we'll get rid of that. Uh, what else do I have? That could be fun. Go with a slightly different color scheme. Let's just pull these out. And I did use a little bit of that brushed gold on my tree, so I can pull that back in. Um, I've got some silver. Might save that. Let's see what else do we have in here. I've got lots of blues. I need some red for my holly berries, so I'll pull that aside. It might be kind of fun to have. Something very different. Peach. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to 
gonna pull that aside and then let's see what I want to have. I was thinking um, as backing. I think I'll cut my flames out of my sparkle. And then my candles. Hmm. Is a good question. Maybe this pale blue. Okay. And I think to bring out the sparkle even more, we're going to bring in some of the gold diamante tape, or not tape, thread. Um, all right. So first things first. These guys in half so they'll go through my big shot Time. Yeah, my cutting skills need some work. <laughs> okay, so big shot time. Let's start with these. Flames. So the glitter cardstock or this glitter foam, sorry, um, will cut just fine, but it will require a few passes. And I'm going to get my tape because uh, because this is so sort of thick, my magnetic platform is probably not going to um, sort of do its job fully. Okay, let's cut these out and see what they look like. Let's take a look at papers that would go with this. Stars could work. Ooh, something very neutral that could work. Ooh. You know how sometimes something just grabs you? That could work. Old stripe. Wood grain is always a good choice. Okay. They're kind of. Hmm. Maybe. Where do we need that? Yeah, I definitely prefer the, the gold. Okay, we're going to go with that. Let's start uh, stitching. So I've still got a little bit of that variegated thread on my needle. Oh, I thought it was on my needle. Um, from the tree. 
So I think I will use this on the gold glitter and then put the gold thread um, on the candles itself. And just like before, I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape. I've still got all this washi tape sitting there from when I die cut these guys. So might as well put it to use, right? So that is the front side of the candle and you can see the ridges. Those are basically where your um, thread is supposed to go. So I'm just going to start one corner. Tape it down and then very simply just go up and down. And when you get to the last hole, snip it off. And there we have it. So I'm gonna continue that and I will be back. So I think I said that I was going to stitch candles on the Diamante thread and the flames with the other thread. And then I just like went ahead and did whatever the hell I wanted. So we're just gonna do all of it with this variegated thread. Um, because I'm, I'm a silly goose, I guess. And I just wasn't paying attention. Anyways. Candle flame is really simple. We're just going to come up through the middle. I'm actually going to sort of, sort of have the, the tails hanging over for a minute. I'll trim that all later. I just need the tape to hold everything in place. Uh, and then you just kind of, you go around, you come up through the center spoke, and then just go around to the circle like this. Um, and in the end, you will have a very lovely starburst. Always going back through the center. Very quick. I've had some other of the Spellbinders stitchable dies that uh, are a little bit more time consuming because they're quite a bit bigger. But these ones are quick and painless, basically. All right, so I'm going to fold that over, tape it down. And then I can trim off all my threads at the same time. Try not to cut myself. It's very fiddly little bits. But these scissors are super sharp. There we go. Okay, so that's one flame done. Okay, so now these ones I am going to adhere with liquid glue. I've already adhered the um, body of the candle. All right, so I got my favorite liquid adhesive and I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna put a little dot behind these guys just to hold them in place. And then we can put some adhesive on the back of this. And 
And now we need to go the rest of the card. So let's get some cardstock. I've got a card base here. And I think I want the texture to run this way. So I'm going to trim this. My uh, card base is a standard A2 size, so that's four and um, a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to trim this just a little bit shy of that, so four and one eighth. creative tape. So quang. <laughs> so that's going to go uh, in the background. And then I can build the rest on top of that. So I need um, I need something to stamp on, and I know it's a little bit boring. That is a little bit boring. Let's see if I have any dies. Now a lot of my dies are actually at the store, so let's see what I have here as far as creating a, a shape. Okay, this is what I could find. Um, this is a balloon. You can make a balloon arch, but it's got a nice circle, which could be um, just simple. Extract it. I've also got some nested dies. This is also from Spellbinders. I have no idea how old it is. These have been in my stash for quite a while. So we could have a circle. We could do a big old star. Might be fun. Or a simple square. these I'm actually going to go for the one that I pulled out the first which was the circle these are all other viable options but I quite like that circle okay from the colors that I brought out Okay, so this is interesting. It's two pieces. See, I haven't used this die before, so surprise. But I kind of like that idea because then I could cut it in the white as well. Okay, so 
So then we could have something like that with our leaves. Not bad. Or something like that. Or one more, one more option. bring back that gold. Quite like that. Okay, I think that's the winner. I also think I need to um, put some sort of sentiment on here. So let's take a look at this and see if there's anything that would go with like candles. Hmm. So it's actually from a Hanukkah set, but I like this Shine Bright. So we're gonna pull that out. I see that my other sentiment is still on my blocks. Well, clearly I'm taking care of my stamps. <laughs> I think that will work quite nicely. Okay, so let's get these adhered. I'm going to use tape to adhere this big circle and then uh, glue for the um, border, circle border. And I'm going to try and get it somewhat centered. I'm an eyeballer. So measuring I find is overrated. <laughs> nah, I'm just lazy. That's what it is. And it it doesn't bother me a whole lot if things are not perfectly centered. I do my best. But I don't worry about it if it's not perfect. Okay, so I want to have my candles about there, but let's get these holly leaves in place first. Let's have one going up, one going down. that. I think I might pop these up. But first, let's get some of these berries in place. I'm not going to put all of them in just, just yet, because I think I might want to have some overlapping on top. Needs more glue. Okay. 
and I think it would be fun to have the berries glistening a bit. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. So let's get these other berries in place. things like tweezers would probably be helpful. I do own tweezers. Okay, uh, I've got some, that's a couple of things actually I could use. I could use some Nouveau Drops, which are getting hard to find these days, or I don't think I have the color here that I really want to use. So, plan B. This is like a glossy accents, but from company Pink and Main. So let's let that dry. And I think we do need some more sparkle. And this time I'm going to use the gems that they included in the kit. Because I've used that each cardstock, it works quite nicely because they sort of pick up that peachy tone as they glitter. Again, uh, whatever those things. Oh my gosh, words are hard, guys. Words are really hard. Tweezers, tweezers would be good here. Do I need more? Always need more, right? I think I'm going to put one in the center. There. Okay. There is card number two. Okay, so once this dries, it won't be cloudy like that. It'll be clear. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye.